Researchers are working on new ways to help prevent sudden infant death syndrome. And as Bianca Castro tells us, a University of North Texas professor says it's time to change how parents get the message about SIDS. One major recommendation comes to mind for most parents as key to preventing SIDS, put baby on his or her back. But UNT professor Wendy Middlemas says even she felt the recommendation slip from top of mind when she became a new mom. And it wasn't that the recommendations were not helpful or appropriate or not very descriptive of a place or activities that would keep an infant safe. It's just I couldn't keep it in my head. Middlemiss felt arming parents with safe sleep practices could be better, and it's a sentiment backed by her own studies as a safe infant sleep researcher. We have had a pretty strong campaign for um, protecting babies during sleep, and still there remains a large segment of the population um, that remains at, at higher risk. So she's developed a new video campaign modeled after a video from New Zealand where the infant mortality rate has reportedly dropped by 30 percent since 2010. Middlemiss says instead of telling parents what they shouldn't do, guidance should explain what a risk factor is and then equip parents with the knowledge of what the child needs to be safe. Those factors include smoking around the baby, which can affect their blood oxygen levels, and blankets in the crib, which can cause babies to overheat. So if you want them to be cute, find really cute onesies. <laughs> and the message should be packaged in an easy to digest way, like this video, which she hopes will soon be distributed to parents nationwide. The American Academy of Pediatrics also recommends breastfeeding and routine immunizations to reduce the likelihood of SIDS.